video, I'll be showing you how to unlock your oh, Xiaomi Mi 8 SE bootloader and then also how to install Twerp and fingers crossed also install Xiaomi EU ROM or at least from once Twerp's installed you can attempt to install any custom ROM that you can find that would be suitable for this phone. So to begin with we'll start with the bootloader. With this you may have to wait up to about 15 days for Xiaomi to approve it so it does take a bit of time some phones might be as quick as 24 hours some might be as long as 30 days for this one I think it was 15 days it took first of all you want to go into my device and then you want to go into all specs and tap five times in MIUI version to unlock developer mode and then from with oh, and then you would also want to add your me account to the device as well. If you don't have that, you can't unlock it. And then go into uh, additional settings, developer mode, and enable USB debugging. And you do want to turn on OEM unlock. Then from there, if you hold power and volume down, that will get you into fast boot mode which is where this device is currently. So there it is again. Volume down, power, and hold. Keep holding volume down, and there we go. And then plug in your Type-C to USB, and connect it to the computer. Once the phone's connected up to the computer, and you're in fast boot mode, if your MIUI account added, you're going to have to download a Mi Unlock tool, which from there, you have it installed and running, you load it up, agree to the terms, enter the same Mi account on the computer as you did on the phone, then from there, it will give you, it will give you the time it will take to unlock the bootloader. So with this, I knew that mine was going to be unlocked for this video. So I've timed that a bit perfectly. But when I first did it, I'm pretty sure it did say two weeks. It does give you a warning that it will erase everything on your phone. It should also say that the phone's connected, which you can see at the top there. It will give you a couple of warnings that all data will be lost on the phone. And from there, go unlock. If it does fail here, do try a different USB cord, possibly a different USB port, and hopefully from there you might have a bit of luck. You should just tap on it. As we see, mine successfully, oh, my bootloader has successfully been unlocked. So from here, I'm free to install any custom recovery that I can find, or custom ROM. So I'll move on to the ROM side of things now, where I will be installing Twerp, and I'll guide you through that. Twerp, you're going to want to have the, the image file to push, and you would also want a program called Minimal ADB and Fastboot. And with that, that's how you're able to install the Twerp recovery onto the phone. So typically, I download the, re, the custom recovery file, rename it to Recovery or Twerp, and then go from there. So rather than having it a full name, it's huge and you're never going to remember. I tend to make it a, just a small simple name and put it in the same directory as minimal ADB and tools. So from here I've typed in fastboot flash recovery and then I've dropped and dragged the image I'd like to install onto the command box which then fills in everything for me. I did have to alter it and put a single space in but once that space was in after the recovery text, it was happy. And then you should get a similar screen to what I'm seeing there. So what I'm going to do now, disconnect the cable, hold volume up and power, press hold, screen off, release the power and keep holding volume up. Then from there, with a bit of luck, 
bit of luck. You may have to redo it a couple of times or even potentially do, use a different recovery like I did here. So what I'm doing right now is I've downloaded a different twerp recovery file for this model of phone as the first one didn't successfully install. So I'll go through the exact same procedure. So I've loaded up minimalist ADB, I've typed in fast boot flash recovery. Now I'm drop and dragging the file over to the command box and hitting enter. And it's said it's successfully done. Or not quite, I forgot the space. There we go, that's installed. Now I'll give the phone just a little bit of time to figure itself out. There we go. So version 11.02 of this version of twerp is what's worked for me. So I've used the same gesture that I did have before to unlock it. Just flicking through the settings. And then first of all, I want to go to wipe, do a format. Well, you got to type in yes. Go yes to that. And I do go a bit overboard here, but I do choose to do as many different wipes as I possibly can. So this one's vital. These ones, not so much. And then what I want to do is reboot straight back into recovery. So I've done a factory, a format for data arrays, and then I've manually told it to wipe various petitions as well. So I've got a nice clean slate to begin with. So I've just told it to wipe again. As I said, a bit excessive, but this has already failed once for me in a, in a part of the video you haven't seen. So I'm definitely being overly cautious. Now the next thing we're going to want to do from here is connect it up to the computer and copy the zip file of the ROM that you're choosing to install onto the phone itself. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just copying over the Xiaomi EU ROM. which doesn't take too much time. I've already got the, the file downloaded onto the computer. I believe that only took about 20 minutes to download that. So once I've moved onto the phone, I'll pick the phone back up and continue. But at the exact minute, your phone, your Mi 8 SE, should be showing up as just a, an external flash drive, essentially. And you can copy and paste from there. There we go, so file finished. I'm going to go back to the phone. I'm leaving the USB connected, but that shouldn't be really necessary. Now I'm going to turn off my LED so it's a bit easier to watch what's going on the phone in this video. So now that I've copied the file, I'm going to tell it to reboot to recovery once more just so it correctly acknowledges that, that zip file is on there. Yep, and I will disconnect that. So here we go, we've got custom recovery there. I'm going to go install, select the USB, uh, select the zip drive, and now we play the waiting game. So I will speed this section of the video up just a bit, probably five, ten times.
So we did speed that section up 10 times. So it did take a little bit of time to do it. And here we go. The phone has now started back up again once more. AI account stuff has acknowledged this phone has been used before. So I've told it to connect to my wireless and I'm just entering, entering in my MIUI account, which I failed at the password one attempt. Try it again. And there we go. So at this point in time, I've got the MIUI or EU Xiaomi 10.2 fir oh, stable firmware installed. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll leave a link to the various files I did use to get this done and also a link to how to factory reset this in case you get stuck in a loop where either the recovery doesn't install or you get stuck in a fast boot loop, which I did myself while making this video. But hopefully this will help you install an English ROM on your Chinese region Mi 8 or Mi 8 SE. Anyway, any questions, put them down below. I also did, did try to install a newer reco twerp recovery, a different version. I believe it was 1227. And that one from there won't allow me to actually boot into recovery. So then I'll be loading up fast boot mode and loading on my original recovery that I used in this video. And I'll see if it goes from there. Anyway, hope this helps, and I'll catch you later.